My name is Garrett Barbush, and this is my journey. November 14th, 2011 marked the beginning, I guess, of what you could call a new, a new stage of life for me. Uh, prior to that, I had worked in the corporate world for about three years. Uh, I loved my job. Things were great. Uh, money was good. Benefits were good. But I felt like um, God had bigger things for me. But that was hard to comprehend when you're kind of in that setting and, and things are going well. I was reading a book uh, at the time uh, called In a Pit with a Lion on a Snowy Day. And I, what I took away from that book the most, I think, was just I felt challenged to step up and to chase after an opportunity. And so I was actually on my honeymoon when I'm reading this book. And I can remember sitting on the beach and just praying, God, what is it that you want me to do for you? What is it? And God, if, if you want me to stay at my job, show me that. If, if you want me to leave my job and go elsewhere or do something else, show me that. I was really almost at a point where I was very frustrated. And I remember sharing with my wife, you know, I think God's going to call me away from my job. I don't know what that's going to look like, but we need to start praying that he gives me boldness and courage to take that leap of faith when he does. And so I, I, I kept praying that prayer for three months. God, if you want to use me, give me a courage and the boldness to, to follow after an opportunity that you're going to put in front of me. One Sunday uh, evening in October, I got a call from my brother-in-law uh, and the founder of Men of Iron. He shared with me, he said, listen, what I'm realizing, Garrett, is that we need somebody to take this thing over full time. I need to hand the reins over to somebody to run with this thing. Through a lot of prayer and a lot of uh, seeking counsel, uh, what we've come to the conclusion is that you're the man to take over this position. We want you to leave your job, we want, to, want you to leave the corporate world, and we want you to do things for the kingdom. I'm not even thinking at the time about the book I had just read and the prayers I had been praying. And so um, he left the house and my wife looked at me and I'll never forget the look in her eye when she looked at me and she just had this smile on her face and she said, Garrett, this is God answering your prayer. Like this is him coming in and, and answering everything for you. He's showing it to you. This is what he wants you to go do. And I can remember really being torn at that moment because there was so much fear and worry and anxiety that hit you because you're like, oh man, like I'm going to leave my job. The next morning I woke up and I just knew, I was like, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to going to leave my job. I'm going to leave my salary. I'm going to leave my benefits. I'm going to just going to put faith that God's got everything under control. And I'm just going to move forward and believe that everything's going to be good. I'm so excited to um, head up this, this organization and this ministry because I believe that men need it. I see the power and the opportunities it gives men to transform their lives. I wouldn't be uh, sitting here today if I didn't believe in it and if I didn't believe that uh, God is paving a way and that uh, God has a place in His kingdom for men of iron. So whether you're a casual church attender or you're a senior pastor, or you're a business owner, I would ask you to think about your circle of influence and the men that you come in contact with. Are they stepping out? Are they complete? Or are they like I was at one point where it was like, God, there's, there's more for me to do. And so I, I don't know who you are. I don't know what your story is, but I feel like I have been put in this situation to call out men and to say, you know what, are you going to take a risk? Are you going to get involved in this? 